Hello, welcome to the Aston Brain Centre. My name's Caroline, this is Stefano, who's the consultant, and this is Elaine. Today we're going to take you through all the steps that will happen when you come for your MEG scan. So, Stefano is going to be our volunteer today, and the first thing we'll notice about Stefano is that he has taken off anything that was on his body that might contain metal. So, he's not wearing his watch, he's not wearing his belt, he's not wearing his glasses, and he's also taken his shoes off because your shoes can contain small bits of metal as well. This is really important because if you're wearing any metal when you go into the MEG system, it won't work properly. So, the next step uh, is for us to attach these five little coils to Stefano's forehead. They're very small and we just attach them with tape. Three of them go across the top of his forehead there and one behind each ear. So you can see I'm going to stick this on just with sticky tape like that, so it's very easy to take off after we're finished. Okay, so here goes the first one. There we go. And I'm going to pop that down behind your ear. Whoops. There we are. You can see that we've now attached the five coils to Stefano, three on his forehead and then one behind each ear. And the next step for us is to ask Stefano to wear these goggles. So the goggles are an important part of the next step that we're going to do. And the other thing we need is this, which is a special tool that we use to measure the position of Stefano's head and the position of all those little coils that we've just stuck on. Um, so first of all, I'm going to measure the position of Stefano's nose. Here we go. It's the bridge of his nose. There we go. And the beep means that the computer is recording it. And his ears. One. Two, good. Now I'm going to do the same for all his coils. Here we go. One, two, We've now finished the process of measuring the shape of Stefano's head and that information goes from this pen to the computer. And we use this to find out whereabouts in the brain the seizures are coming from. Now we're all finished with our preparations and it's time to take Stefano through into the MEG scanner. The MEG scanner is inside this room. So I'm going to take Stefano through, I'm going to ask him to take a seat in our chair and then I'm going to slowly lift him up so that his head is inside the MEG scanner. Take a seat. Sit back just gently there. The camera's not allowed in this room because it's made of metal, but hopefully you can see what we're going to do next. First of all, I'm going to plug Stefano's coils that we stuck on earlier into the MEG system. And then I'm going to raise Stefano up in his chair so that his head is inside this helmet here. Okay, I'm happy with that. His head is in the right position now, so we're ready to record. During the MEG recording, you'll be able to watch a DVD to keep yourself occupied. And we're going to close the door on you, but if you don't want to be in here on your own, someone can sit in here with you to keep you company. They just need to remove all their metal from their body in the same way that you did before we came in. Once we're underway, you'll be able to talk to us through a microphone so we can hear you and we can see you on a video camera as well. So you never really are on your own in here anyway. I'm going to close the door now. It makes a bit of a funny noise. And now we're ready to do our recording. We're back over at the desk now, and from here we can talk to Stefano through this intercom, and we can see him on this video screen. Give us a wave, Stefano. Good. And on this computer over here, Elaine is recording Stefano's brain activity. And it's this recording that we can use to find out more about where in your brain your seizures may be coming from. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what will happen when you come to the Aston Brain Centre to have your MEG scan.